William Byron, in his very young career, gets Hendrick their 300th win, but more importantly, his first career win, which locks him into the round of eight. Jeff Burton, let's start with you. Was he in the right place at the right time, or is he now maybe our playoff favorite for the championship? Uh, both can be true at the same time. Uh, you know, he he certainly, uh, you know, he did not exhibit, you know, race winning speed early in the race. Uh, they continued to make improvements on the car. Uh, he got himself in position at the right time, and then he executed. You know, he got, he got uh, you know, he got Bubba in a situation that Bubba didn't want to be in, and he was able to to just get right on the white line in three and make it work. And that's, you know, honestly, uh, that's what makes teams like this dangerous. You can see what happens right here. Bubba was pretty hard on himself about the entry to turn three. He turns right here, and now he messes his entry up into three. And in that second lane, you really need to enter high so that you can get keep your car turning. It's easier to enter low on the bottom than it is when running the second lane. So Bubba was frustrated himself with that, and, and I understand why. But at the end of the day, William caught those guys racing, put them in a bad put, put them in a bad situation, and drove off. Well, I think what Jeff said that really resonates the most with me is the danger that this creates for the rest of the field. Because now William Byron has won a race that perhaps at no point he thought, or maybe even the other competitors thought he had a chance. He looked good, pitted at the end of stage one, lost all of his track position, and then just had three very methodical runs, three four tire pit stops, continuing the work on the car, and Rudy Fugel and William Byron end up in victory lane. That means two things. One, they now have this confidence that they perhaps can win any race, no matter how the race starts, which makes them dangerous. And two, they can ignore Talladega and the Roval. Now, I think they're going to go there to try to score playoff points, Rick, because that will help them in the round of eight. But you think about William Byron and Rudy Fugel. They've already won once in their career together at Miami. And now you have a group that can look ahead instantly to Las Vegas, Miami, and Martinsville. I think that gives that 24 a real kind of head start and leg up heading into the uh, round of eight. Steve, great point. Now 41 playoff points for the 24 team. They lead all teams with playoff points when we reset in round of eight. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Motorbound, presented by Toyota. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.